we're at the Santa Barbara Airport and I just came to meet my friend Francine. Hello. She came to paint with me for a week and we're going to uh, pick up more people as the day goes on. But uh, we're going to have a great day and I can't wait for you to see what we're going to do. So first, um, Francine came in from Florida. She uh, teaches painting in where? What part? In Tampa. Tampa area, Florida. Yep. And uh, so we're going to paint seascapes all week and we're going to let you see what we're doing later. Okay, so we have another friend to meet. We have to get over to the gate to meet her. So we'll see you in a minute. This is dead cool, Shirley. You know what? I heard we can buy t-shirts here. <laughs> yes! So we're going to paint for a whole week. We're going to go out to lunch. We're going to go to the beach. So we'll, we'll, we'll check in with you some more. Here we are. It's lunch time. Oh, it's California. No, no, no. Wonderful. Cheers. <laughs> Here we are at the farmer's market in Santa Barbara. There's so much good stuff. <laughs> loquats. She wants to get some loquats. They're so good. Mm, yum. We're looking for garlic. Eat lots of garlic. Will you settle for radishes? <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the pier in Santa Barbara and the sun's about to set and we're going to go get another group um, that's coming in from Canada. So we're going to go check on the bus. So this is our basic underpainting. We've got the whole thing laid in, our colors are blocked, and if you take your really big soft fan brush or even the other one and just a real soft, gentle blend. And we want to do that because we don't want any hard edges left on any of these things so that when we go to pick it up tomorrow, we want it to have a real um, smooth, mostly, so that anything we put on, we can change anything. Uh, it's nice to soften the horizon. Keep the, makes the horizon go away in the distance, and just all this underpainting. We want it very smooth for tomorrow. So the colors are blocked in, everything's smoothed off, and so tomorrow we can finish the paint. It's, it's really important that you have your underpainting um, done. And I only spend like two hours. When I'm home alone painting on my own, I spend about two hours to get the whole underpainting done. And then tomorrow, my highlights will all stick on all these areas where I want them. Um, see, I, want, I don't want any hard edge left. If you do a real heavy painting, you've got hard edges, then you have to get rid of them all tomorrow. So what we've done so far is we've got four underpaintings. And now we'll start with the very driest one on our next painting session. And we'll work it up and probably finish it. But if there's something that we want to let dry again, we'll go on to the next one. So by the end, you'll have four finished, but we'll work on them in stages. So if you want to, um, we'll just clean our brush. We'll go over, check out the, um, the room so everybody can see where you guys are staying. And then we'll go have lunch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Out to lunch today. Field trip. Field yeah. trip. Okay. This is Shirley's room, and we call it the princess room. So we put Shirley in here, and Shirley lives in Cincinnati, Ohio. Correct. She, yep. She's a sister of the Sisters of Charity, 
and she's painting this whole week and she's the sweetest, funnest peeper person in the whole world. So this is the front parlor, complete with its own electric fireplace and lots of comfy chairs. And we have a piano. Okay, so this is the French day bed to take a nap. Uh, I don't give you time to take a nap, but it's a great idea. This is the feather bed, the best bed in the whole house. Uh, with these, with the bay window, the stars, um, you lay in bed and you watch the stars at night. And when the moon is in the right spot, you get to see the moon shining in and all the stars through the trees. And in the morning, you get to see the beautiful apple blossom tree, the pink blossoms. And you just kind of lay here and take it all in. It's just beautiful. Best room in the house. <laughs> Everybody loves the ceiling in here. And, and the wood stove works. So if it's cold, we can build a fire. Well, the ceiling is old-fashioned tin. It's actually new, but it's uh, in the old moldings that they made back in the 1800. This actually was originally the kitchen in the house. But now it's the bathroom. There's the kitchen with all the snacks. Somebody's teacup ready for tea. We're in the master suite, um, kind of semi, not finished, but still comfy. Um, we've got a fireplace and cozy place to read a book and two beds and its own bathroom. Well, it's an old, old fashioned tub and we found this gorgeous shower, solid brass on eBay. So um, now you can have a shower or a bath. I'm not going back to Cincinnati. <laughs> In fact, you can just bring my supplies out here and my pallet, and I'll kind of hang out here for a while. This is great. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, look at that outfit. Fancy. Yeah, I'm looking. Go. The gold lame skirt. How about yeah. that? That's what we need to paint in. Yeah. That'll make our paintings better. Makes my legs look fat. <laughs> <laughs> A sale. Where? Oh, where? Where? Watch out. Don't let Shirley out of the park. <laughs>